Hey everybody, welcome back to Not Quite Round 2. Uh, I thought I would share in the excitement with everybody the uh, the the dread of seeing that somebody has dropped. Uh, something or other. Uh, lost to Jeezy Monkey King and dropped. He doesn't want to play the rest of the rounds. That means that we could get a bye. Uh, in six seconds, maybe we just see our name drop down and say bye. Uh, which means this is going to be another one of those short videos, but maybe not. We have a 33% chance of it happening. Hopefully we see a match pop up here. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, for a second there, I thought that I had gotten the buy. I thought it uh, jumped me down there, but I guess I'm just on the bottom. It was Dark Artist who got the buy. Uh, this is actually going to be a full video, so that's fun. Uh, we won the die roll, so we're going to play first, and we're going to see how this game goes. Uh, we've got our two... We've got all three colors. Uh, we've got... A four drop, a couple of delvers, another four drop. That's a slow starting hand, but I'll keep it. Uh, we're, our deck is somewhat slow. Um, we can always draw into morphs. Otherwise, we only need a land to uh, have our entire hand online, except, for, well, <laughs> what am I saying? 50% of our hand will be online, not our entire hand at all. We drew a swamp, so that's not great. So he's blue-white so far. He's just guy so far. Well, it looks like we're just going to turn four. And then we've got choices. Do we do squad? Do we do nightblade? Do we do flare? Depends on what this is, I guess. It's a morph. I think we do flare. Get the big guy down. Next turn, we'll do squad. Squad and Scavenger, I think, might do some work in this matchup. Uh, Jeskai often has a number of flyers. Uh, Alabaster Kirin, uh, Jeskai Wind Scout, uh, Mistfire Weaver, Wheeler, Weaver? Mistfire Weaver, I believe, uh, which this morph card may very well be. There's an Alabaster Kirin, Speak of the Devil. Um, I think we're going to attack in here. Because if I can get even one of those down, I'll be happy. Now he's just going to let it through. So I guess we long shot squad. Yeah, let's long shot squad here. So he can get in for two with that Kieran this turn. He can get in for two with it next turn. Um, but then I'm going to have uh, a Reacher. So that morph uh, could be a free weapon master. I have to keep in mind could give plus three plus O to something uh, and it has first strike so I'm 99% certain it's a free weapon master because uh, if it was pretty much anything else my long shot squad could probably just kill it uh, so I'm not going to block here I'm just going to take the four no he's going to unmorph so I'm going to take four five six seven eight nine presumably yeah it's a weapon master so I'll take nine and go to eleven no go to twelve That's fine. That's fine. Sandstep Citadel. Sure. Um, I'm going to Outlast. I'm going to attack in. And then I'm going to tap down as a free weapon master. <clears throat> Let's not have a 4 3 first strike blocker and attacker. Of course, he's also a land away from being able to untap it, but if he wants to waste time with that, I'm okay. I have a Reacher to start blocking the Kirin. Can drop the American Nightblade and make it a, a Death Touch Reacher. Uh, okay, so he's going to Singing Bell Strike it. Sure. Then what's he going to do? Then he's going to drop a morph. All right. So he'll get in for two here, and I'm still okay with that. I will swing in for three. He takes it down to 12, and then I'll drop a Saltai Scavenger, which is going to block that Kirin. So if that morph is another a free weapon master, then 
things are going to be kind of annoying. He goes up to 13 with that land, sure thing. He's going to come into with it, so I'm pretty sure it's in a free weapon master. Uh, we'll still get to kill the Kirin, barring any combat tricks. Ah, uh, feet of resistance, of course. So, I need six to untap that. So I guess we'll just pass the turn here. He's down to two cards. As long as that morph isn't something truly obnoxious, then we're not in a ton of trouble. I guess if it isn't a free weapon master, we're still in trouble then. Because uh, that first strike is going to be quite a pain. So he's coming in with just it. No, he's not coming in at all. So we get a free on tap here. Uh, Rattleclaw Mystic, eh? Let's drop the Merrick Nightblade. Let's get uh, this guy being death touchy and reachy. And then, do we morph the Mystic here? Hmm. Yeah, let's morph him down. He's got two cards. Water whirl? This will be awful if it is. Oh no, he's just on tapping his uh, uh his weapon master. That makes sense. Arrow storm. Sure, so I'll gain four off that. But uh, his reachy guy, or his flying guy, can just come in as much as he wants. So that's a 4-3. So he could kill that. And then I could double block. Why not? Ah! Oh, what did you do, Magic Online? Ugh. Oh. I swear I clicked that and then I was way too speedy with the OK button. Well, make sure you're clicking things properly, everybody. <laughs> um, hmm. I can take three, so this is what? This is 12, uh, 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I can do both. I don't think it helps me because this damn... Uh, uh, free Weapon Master. That first strike is such a pain. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Let's flip him. Get the mana. Let's go Hooting Mandrels. Delve everything away. Use up that mana to cast it. Sultai Scavenger, and pass the turn. <clears throat> so we still can't block the Kirin. Um, we can't block the Weapon Master, unless we properly do the triple block. So we're just going to take three here. It was a pretty big misplay, but... Um, ugh. Yeah, I think we're just toast here. There's very little that I can think of that would throttle, eh? Sure, let's throttle the Kirin. And then we'll outlast the Nightblade to get him a little bit bigger. 
And past the turn, he can't uh, luckily untap the free. Well, I guess he can untap it main phase, can he? Um, and that would be a free four. He's coming in with that. That makes me think it's an free weapon master. Um, I'm going to block the threat that I know. And I guess just take the four. I assume it's going to be four. Maybe it's Sagu Mahler and we just uh, hate our lives. No, it's just Snowhorn Rider. All right. A planes. That's not going to do it. On tap the Weapon Master. Yelp. Swing in Weapon Master and Rider. I will block and kill the Snowhorn, and I will just jump block to the Weapon Master. So I'll take one and go to four. Uh, Kintry Invocation will get me a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to have to chump block to the Warrior, however. I guess I could double block and just hope he doesn't have anything, but he has four cards sitting in hand, so... I don't think that's a sound strategy. Long shot squad. Well, at least he's not on tapping the Weapon Master, but I think he's just playing out enough threats that I'm not going to be able to uh, meet up with him. So block, block... Land? Yeah, so we just lose that one. Pretty huge misplay. I need to be very careful about hitting that OK button. Um, I think Magic Online's being a bit laggy today. It's not usually laggy for me, despite what uh, uh, you would read from the general internet comments. Um, but today it is lagging a little bit, so I need to be careful with that. Um, so flyers. I got. I've got my archer. I've got my double long shot squad. There's not much else I can do about it. Singing bell strike could maybe. Lock him down a bit more. Don't know if there's anything I really want to take out for it. No, we're just going to jump back in and see how we do. Uh, I really want to win this game because, unfortunately, if we don't, we are getting that pie. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, I will play first. I, again, really don't like this, but I'm going to keep it. Uh, we're sitting here looking at nothing until turn four. Uh, and I think that's just an awful, awful strategy. Um, but we have the four lands, and we have the turn four play. But I think I am not effectively mulliganing today. I'm being far too cautious. Draw land. Uh, well, at least we draw a morph guy, but we don't have the blue to flip him. He's got his just guy mana. Down comes his morph. Uh, I will gladly swing into that, and he is not going to trade because that's a weapon. That's a weapon master. I would almost guarantee it. Um, I guess we'll go with the long shot squad. It's a 3-3 three, three as opposed to a 2-3, a and it more efficiently uses our mana. Bloodstained Mire. Nice. Another morph. Sure thing. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to hit one of those few islands we have, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to swing in. I'm just going to be aggressive. Not sure if we have much else of a way around it other than just being aggressive. He's going to go fetch a land. He's coming in. They're both Weapon Masters. I'm not going to block. So that'll be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll be nine coming at me. I'll go to 11. 
The swing back, I could have taken him to seven and cut his life in half. Maybe he saw that. Bear's companion, that's really going to hurt me. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? I know one of these is... Oh, I don't have blue. I can't even do it. Um, so I guess we're looking at Saltai Scavenger or Outlasting. I think I'm just going to Outlast Outlast. I'm going to let him swing through for quite a bit of damage next turn, but the snapback on him would be 7, would be 9, and who knows what he thinks this might be. Should make him a bit conservative, hopefully. So if I block, he's just going to flip the one that I block, I think. But if I don't, I take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This way, I just take 5. Oh, it's Snowhorn Rider. Forgot he had that. So I go to 11. All right. Another swamp. Let's go Saltai Scavenger. And let's make... I could have a 4-5 or I could have a 5-5. Five, five. Both are going to be Reach Trample. Let's make a 5... Oops. No, no, no. Don't attack. At last. Let's make a 5-5 five, five and just hope. In with the 5-5 five, five and the 2-2. Two, two. So I could just double block the 5-5. Five, five. It would become a, an 8-5. So I would take one, I would take five. Otherwise, I double block the free Weapon Master and I take nine. Now let's double block there. All of these are far less than ideal blocks, but I'm not drawing anything. Force away is it. That hurts. Down to eight. Mardu Horde Chief, and I think this game is very, very, very over. Yeah, we just drew yet another land, um, so we can drop this guy down, and we can do what? We can block, block, and take two, four, or five. Uh, we can go to one if that is, in fact, in a free Weapon Master, as I think we just lose, I believe. Everything? Yeah, everything. So we do what we can. We go block and we go block. And we're taking two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we've got lethal already here. Nothing we could do about it. And as I knew all along, oh, it wasn't a. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we just lose. That was an awful, awful, awful game. I think my mulligan decisions were terrible there. Um, you know, I, I see often people will say, you know, don't mulligan if you have three or four lands and you have spells, even if it's going to take you three or four turns to get them online, because then you're going to do something. Uh, but that is very bad thinking, because uh, those early turns are pretty important. You need to be putting stuff down. You need to be doing stuff. Uh, and if you're just sitting around doing nothing, you're going to get uh, pretty quickly outclassed. So yeah, we did not do very well there at all. I think that means we're going to get the buy. However, somebody could drop. Uh, if somebody else dropped, then I would get paired up with somebody. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I will see you for round three. It might be a short video. Um, and so <laughs> we did not get the elusive three and oh. Uh, we might end up with the uh, the also elusive.
but thankfully elusive, 0-3. Uh, but hey, if we get that buy, we get a pack. But we'll see. I'll see you there for uh, round three.